this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this- Oh, hello, Lee, why do you keep doing that? <laughs> oh, that really makes me jump. I'm always expecting you to come out from the page. Let's do it again, Lee, do it again, Lee. I like, I like my traditions, okay? Right, take it away. Everyone in their starting positions, like, camera action, and welcome to another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today I'm going to be joined by Lee. There we go. That's the way I like to start my videos. And you're looking good today, Lee. If you're in a good mood, then come and give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. oh, I was only joking, Lee. I was only joking. I was only playing. I didn't think you were actually going to kiss me. Uh, uh, only joking, Lee. Only joking. <laughs> we, the way we kiss is we just rub noses. We just go... There we go. Just rub our noses together. That's the way we kiss. <laughs> anyway... Enough of that, I need to get the taste of bear hair out of my mouth, and so I am going to do so by eating my breakfast, which is, of course, going to be a cake. <gasps> num, 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 num. <sighs> I'm full up, I'm full up. Oh dear, I can't eat cake like I used to. <laughs> I'm ashamed, I've let my whole family down, I left a slice. <laughs> anyway, let's go outside and let's play the flower shower plantation hydration contraption hose the rose edition. Basically, this is a very complicated game where we basically need to shoot that arrow and then a load of things are going to happen. Then we shoot a button there, then we shoot buttons here and then a pressure plate and all sorts of things. Basically, to try and make that flower down there get watered by the dispenser. So Lee, you look like you're very eager today, so why don't you take it away? <laughs> and I didn't mean that to rhyme, but I guess it was just in good time. And it looks like Lee missed and all. I've got no materials on me. There we go. I didn't have any of my items out, but it doesn't matter. I got my arrow, so let me try and line it up. Can I hit the button? Oh, I did. I did. I did. And it fired out. Oh, I don't think it hit the yellow button, though. It hit... Uh, I hit that one. Oh, there we go. It did, though. That one did. It just randomly fired out. So, which means it's now your go, Lee. So, you see the button on the green block, uh, the one next to the, uh, the minecart? You need to try and hit that button. Be very careful not to hit the minecart, though. This was a really good start. Oh, no. Lee missed. Lee missed. Okay, so it's my go now. Can I hit this next button? I did it. I did it. And the mine card went, which now revealed the next button. You see on the red block down there, Lee? You kind of have to shoot through the piston to try and hit that next one. If Lee misses, this is going to be a failed attempt. And oh, no. Lee missed. But don't worry. That was the best we've done so far. That was the best attempt so far. So maybe next time we can get the entire contraption done. I want one perfect run through of the entire contraption. That was good though. That was that was a little bit more promising. Anyway, let's waste no more time over here. I'm going to go and head over to my love garden because I have decided that I want to add someone new to it. And today to my love garden, I am going to be adding Leo Harvey. And I am adding Leo Harvey because he has a very awesome shed. <laughs> and you can see a picture of it here. Isn't this the most amazing shed you've ever seen? He's basically decorated it with his dad to make it look like Minecraft. And my favourite part is this, the painting on the wall of me and Squid. And I must admit, I am very uh, jealous of Leo. I wish I had a shed like that. <laughs> and so I wanted to say thank you very much for sending me the picture, Leo. And welcome to my love garden. I hope you are very happy. That Oh, yeah, Leo, you got crumbs. You got crumbs all over Leo's sign. I've just added him. This was a fresh new sign and you got crumbs all over it. Say sorry to Leo. Give Leo a kiss. Give him a bear kiss. Go and rub your nose against Leo's sign. <laughs> oh, don't get any splinters. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Before I get any crazier, uh, let's go and head over to the fun land because we are building today a brand new mini game. But I'm not going to be doing that with just me and Lee. We are, of course, going to also be joined by one of my dogs. And which dog shall I take with me today? Do you want to pick today, Lee? Do you want to decide which dog I'm going to take? Just go and stand behind a sign uh, for the dog you think I should take. And it looks like uh, he wants me to take Cory, and Cory uh, is the curious dog with the uh, the green collar, and here he is down here. Cory, you can join us for the video. And uh, yeah, while we head over there, I'm going to explain what the uh, the fun uh, what the uh, the mini game is uh, we're building today. Actually, also uh, before we do that, there's someone who I want to go and say hello to. Someone who's 
Duncan, is that you? Oh no, I thought that was a... <laughs> His ecologist looked black then. Uh, yeah, there's basically a new person who joined our world recently, and uh, we've not spoke to her very much, and it's of course Harriet, my new villager. So shall we have a game of hide and seek with Harriet? I think she's already hiding somewhere in the uh, in the village, and we need to go and try and find her, okay? So three, two, one, go. Who can find Harriet? And I have honestly uh, no idea uh, where she is. She basically... Uh, keeps changing where she lives and I think I'm eventually uh, gonna let her move in with uh, Harrison uh, But for now she's kind of just uh, roaming around the area So let me go and try and look inside of all of these shops. Uh, she's not in there. She's not in the uh, the post office Maybe she's behind here somewhere is she in the Pretty Kitty Spa? Is she trying to get prettier? No, I don't think so. Maybe she's uh, still in the uh, the Caring Cat. This is where uh, we turned her into a villager in the first place. Right there. But no, she doesn't seem to be around. Oh, there is a cake here though, so... Nom 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 nom. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> well, if she didn't want it, someone's got to have it. I can't find her. Have you found her yet, Lee? Can you see her anywhere around here? I don't think Lee's found her either. Maybe she's gone into the, uh, the fire station, maybe? Is she in the Beat the Heat fire station? I don't think she is. Is she in the, uh, the Po-Po police station? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Lots of pigs are though. Why are there so many pigs in here? They're all over the place. <laughs> I can't find her anywhere. Maybe... Uh, she's gone down here. Oh, Lee's firing arrows at me, I think. Have you found her, Lee? Have you found her? I think Lee did. I think Lee has found her. Lee has won. Lead the way, Lee. Uh, lead me to, to where Harriet is. Oh, is she in here? Oh, <laughs> oh, she's got a new job. She's got a new job working in my overwear shop. Hello, Harriet. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear God. Typical woman going into the clothes shop. <laughs> Only joking. Oh, very nice clothes there. Could I uh, recommend the uh, the pumpkin munchkin? Uh, one of my favourite uh, new designs of a uh, fashion uh, accessory. Uh, nope. Would you, you want to stay wearing the uh, the brown robes? Okay, that's just okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you're settling in uh, to my lovely world nicely. And by the looks of things, uh, she is. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let me go and now and head over to the fun land and then we can begin building our new game and uh, the reason we're building uh, the new game is because of this building here the dentist basically we gave the two fairy uh, a job working in our dentist and the problem with that is that now she's too busy to collect everybody's teeth and so we're going to build a new mini game where you need to try and collect teeth uh, from a child sleeping in a bed and then leave some money and so the idea is we're going to build uh, uh, three child's bedrooms and uh, then we're going to put on the floor lots of pressure plates and trip wires and you need to try and sneak across the floor without landing on any of the uh, the trip wires or pressure plates uh, because if you do it will wake up the child so you basically need to be as stealthy as you can uh, to try and sneak into the room while the child's sleeping you then take the teeth and give some money, and it's basically who can do that best. Uh, you're going to see who can uh, do it in the least attempt. So we're going to be doing three bedrooms, and they're going to be three different difficulties. Uh, easy, uh, medium, and hard. And uh, we're going to be building the game right here. See, there's a big uh, open space here. And so let's go and uh, start building. So in this episode, uh, we're going to build the uh, the easy one, uh, basically, and try and get that one completely done. So the easy one uh, is going to be made out of a uh, light blue wool. And I think I'm going to build it literally right here. So I'm going to do the first wall here and just leave a, a, glap, uh, a gap of two blocks there. And it needs to be 19 blocks along. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then seven blocks along the back end. Look at <laughs> Corey there just walking along. He's there just checking to make sure it's definitely straight. And by the looks of things it is. And uh, yep, then I'm going to go along here seven blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I just need to go along here the other side. So this is going to be his bedroom. I know it's a, a little bit more of a, a corridor <laughs> than a bedroom, but I needed it to, to be long enough for there to be a, enough challenges uh, for you to try and jump across. So if I go and build this to here, and then the floor uh, is going to be all made out of uh, wooden planks. And it's got to be oak planks, uh, because that is what the uh, the pressure plates look like. Uh, so if I did anything uh, else for the floor, uh, then it would look uh, weird, uh, just because... Um, uh, yeah, it'll look really odd because you'll be able to see the pressure plates too easily. And so this way, it's going to be kind of like uh, they're not really pressure plates, as if it's just loose floorboards. And then when you actually stand on a pressure plate, uh, it makes uh, quite a good sound uh, that does really sound like it is um, someone stepping on like a loose floorboard or just a, a creaky step somewhere. <laughs> and uh, look how good this shovel is. I'm not really used this shovel much. Look how quickly I just destroy everything so, so fast. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is really good, actually. And so the way the game's going to work is it is going to use redstone. 
redstone. It kind of has to, uh, but it's going to be it's going to be very simple redstone. All I need to do is completely cover the floor here in redstone. I don't need to do anything special. It's not complicated. I literally just have to place redstone absolutely everywhere on the floor down here. And so that way, uh, no matter what pressure plate you stand on, it's going to set off all of the redstone. So once I fill this in, uh, all I need to do is go and cover the floor down here uh, with redstone absolutely everywhere. And you can see as I'm doing this, uh, Lee is going up and uh, building the, the ceiling. I think it needs to be a little bit higher than that, Lee. I think we're going to go uh, six blocks high uh, for the, uh, the ceiling. Uh, just to make sure we have plenty of room for jumping. And then just down at the very end, uh, I'm going to go and build myself a bed. And so the way we're going to know uh, that you've woken up is that we're going to build a bed. And then behind it, there's going to be a pumpkin. And the pumpkin is supposed to be the, the child's face. And so every time uh, you step on a pressure plate, a piston's going to pull down the uh, the pillow uh, that was covering the uh, the child's face. And then that way he's going to basically, he's going to see you. And then that way you know that that was a, a failed attempt. And uh, oh, I've actually um run out of redstone. Do you have any spare redstone on you at all, Lee? Where are you? Are you up here somewhere? And oh, there we go. <laughs> Raining from the sky. Brilliant. Uh, so let me go and fill uh, the rest of this in. I don't need to go right to the end because the, uh, the bed's going to be about here. Uh, we should also uh, light up the area a bit because it is starting to get dark. Actually, we could go to sleep. Let's go. Let's go have a little nap then first, shall we? Because uh, otherwise the uh, the googlies are going to try and attack us too much. So let me go and uh, plonk down my crafting table here and uh, make a few wooden planks and then a couple beds and uh, then we can have a, uh, a quick nap. And oh, I made a chest as well. That's okay. I guess we can store. Uh, I'm going to go and throw some of my sand and stuff in here just to empty up my, my pockets a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to go and make myself a couple beds. Oh no, I've already done that. <laughs> so I need to put down the beds and then we can have a, a quick nap and then yeah, that way it won't get too dark. So Lee, uh, do you want to come to, to Betty Buys? I've made you a, a bed there. And then in the morning we can carry on building. So I'm going to go and cover up uh, all of the, uh, the redstone that I placed down. Uh, with the uh, the wooden planks because I don't need uh, to see them anymore. And oh, actually, I need to do uh, one more final row uh, along here just for this this first bit, I believe. Is that it? Yep, yeah, this is it. And then I need to go and do the, the floor the whole way along here. Uh, you can give me a hand if you want, Lee. And then at the end, all I need to do is go and uh, try and build uh, the bed. So the reason why I've done it so... It's a piston pulling down a pillow uh, rather than the uh, the boy poking his face up. It's because if you try and a push a pumpkin uh, with a piston, it destroys the pumpkin. So instead of waking up the child, it looked like as you come in, his head just falls off. <laughs> and uh, that's not what I want to happen. So uh, yeah, we're going to build the pumpkin into the wall and then just uh, make it so that the pillar gets pulled down. And so then you can just see his face. So it's not as good as if the pumpkin did come up, uh, but I think it's pretty much the, uh, the only way I could do it. And the pumpkin uh, is really the only only block that has a face <laughs> so there's not really anything else I could use so uh, let me just go and fill this uh, all into the very end and uh, this is where I'm going to to build the bed so I actually need to to build the walls in one more here uh, just to, to cover up the pumpkin so I can do the I can do this block here and then I can do the pumpkin on top of that so there's the uh, the child's face and then I need to fill in this wall here and so this is basically just going to be covering up where the the pumpkin is and so I'm eventually uh, going to fill all of this in from the top here I've done it almost to the top here actually yeah I'm going to place all of these in and then in front of him I need to go and try and build a bed so I'm going to try and make the bed uh, look like what the uh, the beds look like in Minecraft anyway then that way it's going to be more obviously a bed. So here are the, the rows of pillows. And then here is the actual main part of the bed. And then there's going to be another block right here <laughs> covering his face. And so this is going to get pulled down. And then, boop, you can see there's the uh, the boy watching you. I'm going to try and make it look a bit more like a bed. Though. I'm going to make it look like a fancy four-poster bed. So I'm going to go over to here. And I'm going to go and try and make some fences. And uh, this is a, a cool way to make a, a rather fancier looking bed. I just want to make sure that it's very obviously supposed to be a bed, basically. So I'm going to make a, a few more of these fences uh, to make sure I have enough of them. And uh, I'm basically going to go uh, up like this, uh, all the way up to, to where the, the ceiling's going to be. And along like this, and then down here. And then just do the same at the, the front of the bed like this. Then I can go along like here. Oh no, I didn't mean to place that one up there. Let me go and get rid of that one quick. And then I can go along like this, along the top here. And I think I'm going to need to, to make a few more fences. I don't think I made enough. So yeah, let me go and uh, very quickly make... Um, I think I need... I think I need one more fence. I need one more fence. Typical. Typical. Oh look, there's a fence up there. I don't need to make any new ones. If I just hop up here, I can go and get... There we go. I made exactly the perfect amount of fences. When does that ever happen? <laughs> so I just need to break these away and go and build this along like that. So there we go. This is the, uh, the bed down at the end. And whoa! 
Looks like Lee has been busy making the pressure plate. So uh, before I start plonking them down, I'm going to go and add the piston in. So the piston uh, needs to be down here somewhere. So I'm going to use a sticky piston. Uh, so that way it's going to pull the, the block down as well. <laughs> Corey is, as always, being curious and having a look down there. So I think the piston needs to be here. Yeah, this is right. And then I put the, the, the pillow on top of it. And so this is what it's going to look like when it's revealed. Uh, so all I need to do now is hop downstairs and do the redstone. And oh, it's kind of um it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing with this floor here. Let me go and uh, break away the floor under the bed just so I can see uh, what I'm doing. So uh, it needs to be a very simple trail uh, leading to the piston. The only slightly complicated thing is I need to make sure that the piston starts off already being up. So this is going to be the last area uh, where there could actually be a um Oh yeah, where there could be a pressure plate. And so that bit's going to go down a little bit to here. And then, uh, actually no, is this right? Uh, yeah, these, these red redstone doesn't need to be here. So that's going to go down to there. And then I'm also uh, just going to add in one repeater uh, just to make sure that the redstone can stretch far enough. So let me go and uh, make a quick crafting table down here for now. And I'm going to go and make myself a repeater by making some redstone torches. And then here we go, here's a repeater. And I'm going to place this down here like this. And then I'm going to go and have the redstone going like this. And then, oh, actually what I could do is uh, put a block here and then put a redstone torch on top of that. And then this is going to light up all of the, the redstone already, which means that the piston is going to be extended. But if a signal uh, comes from this side, then that piston should get pulled down. So let's test this out, shall we? Let's put that down there. And there we go. Now the piston is pulled down. So that is literally the only uh, complicated part of uh, the redstone that you need to do. And now all we need to do is go and have fun uh, putting down all of the pressure plates. So let me go and uh, go and fill in a, a bit more of this floor down here, uh, just because I made a, a bit of a mess. And so so basically, uh, if I place down a pressure plate anywhere in this area, like say down here, if I step on it, it should pull down the piston. There we go. And so now all I need to do is I uh, go and arrange these around the place in a, in a difficult pattern uh, to make it so that we need to try and jump across them uh, to get them to the other side. And I could also uh, add down a trip wire. Uh, so if I go over here, I can make some, I think they're called trip wire hooks. Is that right? Yeah, trip wire hooks. I can make a, a few of these. Oh no, made too many. And I can put uh, one of these on either side and I could put one maybe say here and then one here and then if I place string along the bottom here basically uh, as you step on the wire I want it to pull it down but it won't actually work straight away uh, so all I need to do is add a, a tiny little trail uh, of redstone uh, just so it links up to the uh, to the rest down there so I think if I do uh, one bit of redstone uh, like this I think and then like this and then this means that when you go on the trip wire it's going to pull down the the block as well and uh, the way you get over the trip wires uh, you can't actually jump straight over them because uh, even if you look like you do uh, you hit the uh, the string uh, so it means you've got to go around here where the actual hook is and you then can sneak past and it suddenly got very dark in here <laughs> looks like we suddenly got a roof so let me go and uh, put a, a few more torches up uh, just so I can see what uh, we're doing then I'm going to put down the uh, the rest of the pr uh, the rest of the pressure plates and then we can go and have a, a little bit of a test to go and uh, see who's going to be better at uh, at taking the teeth, <laughs> me or Lee. So I'm going to go and fill in a little bit here uh, just to make this bit blue as well and this block down here and on the other side down here and uh, then let's go and start doing some pressure plates. So this is going to be the easy one. So I don't th want this one to be uh, too difficult but then again I do want a, a decent bit of a challenge so we can have some like this, uh, maybe like this and then go to here and here and here and I'm going to put some down here. Do you think this is difficult enough? Um, I, I think this might be difficult enough. Actually, let's just make it so you need to, to jump over a few more. Uh, let's put a few more down. I feel like this is still a little bit too easy. So let me just make uh, one or two more pressure plates uh, just to make it that little bit more difficult. Let's just put one there. And uh, yeah, this will do. This will do. This will do. Okay, Lee. So we need to see who can do it in the least attempts. That's the challenge. So you go first and you can try and set the bar. And I need to see if I can beat it. So any time that that pillow gets pulled down and the boy sees you, you need to come back and start again. And remember, you can't jump over the wire. That's it. You need to go around to the side here. Lee is being very cautious. So yeah, you can walk through the trip. Oh, there we go. He managed to get over the hook. He's almost there. He might be able to do it in just one attempt. And if he does, that means things are going to be very difficult to me. You can see him there sneaking around. You've got to get onto the bed, Lee. You've got to get on top of the bed. Otherwise, it's not going to count. Can he do it? Can he do it? Big job. And he did it. First attempt. Nicely done, Lee. 
<laughs> oh, dear. And then he just goes and says hello to the child. Right, it looks like it's my goalie. You can just run straight back through here. You don't have to worry about it now. <laughs> You've already got the, uh, the tooth. That's what you wanted. So I need to do it in just one attempt as well. So let's go. I'm going to try and jump over this one. Oop, I did it. I did it. I think I'm going to copy Lee's route. I'm going to sneak around here. Try not to hit any of them. I didn't hit any. Corey, you stay where you are. I don't want you to <laughs> come and knock into any of them. And then if I stay close to the wall, I can get past the hook. And then if I go around this way, and then this way. Oh, this is so tense. And then this way, and then this way. Then I need to jump to the bed. And I did it as well. Yay! <laughs> but as I said, this is going to be the easy one. So in the next episode, uh, we're going to build two or more of these. And one's going to get a little bit harder. And then the final one is going to be very, very difficult. So here we go. This is the start of my new game called Take <laughs> the Teeth. Uh, but that's the end of this episode now. As always, there'll be a link in the description to the next part uh, once it's online. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!